Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Teacher Masoko, and today I'm going to teach you how to find an expression or a formula for a cubic sequence. So, if you want to learn that, show me. A sequence to be regarded as a cubic sequence the third difference is supposed to be the same right if the second difference is the same that's a quadratic sequence and if the first difference is the same that's a linear or arithmetic sequence okay so now let's check if our sequence is a cubic sequence remember that the third difference is supposed to be the same okay so here we have 10 28 98 minus 40 we have 58 here and here we have 100 okay we check the second difference we have 18 here and 58 minus 28 is 30 100 minus 58 is 42 now we are checking the third difference we have 12 12 you can see that the third difference is the same that's why it's a cubic sequence okay now let's get to the formula or the expression so we know that for a cubic sequence we're going to have tn equals to a n to the power 3 plus b n squared plus c n plus d okay so we're going to find a b c and d okay let's find our a so you know that 6a is equals to the third difference which is 12 okay 6a is always equals to the third difference if here we had 24 and 24 we're going to say 6a equals to 24 or here we had 6 6 we're going to say 6a equals to 6 okay remember we use this ones okay we divide by 6 both sides and our a is going to be 2 right and to find b we are just going to say 12a plus 2b equals to 18 we substitute our a we're going to have 24 there right so 24 plus 2b equals to 18 we take 24 the other side we're going to have 2b equals to negative 6 we divide by 2 both sides our b is equals to negative 3 okay now let's look at our c and our d to find c we are just going to say to find c we're going to say 7a plus 3b plus c equals to 10 okay we substitute 7 times 2 because our a is 2 3 times negative 3 because our b is negative 3 plus c equals to 10 okay so this is going to be 14 minus 9 plus c equals to 10 this is 5 plus c equals to 10 we take 5 the other side and our c is equals to 5 okay now let's find d for d we just say a a plus b plus c plus d is equal to the first term which is 2 right our a is 2 our b is negative 3 our c is 5 we don't know our d right we collect like terms this is going to be 4 plus d equals to 2 we take for the other side our d is going to be negative 2 right so we have a b c d so we're going to substitute 
our ABCD in our cubic formula so that you can come up with an expression for this sequence. Okay, so Tn is equal to our A is 2, so we have 2n to the power 3. Our B is negative 3n squared plus our C is 5n minus 2. Okay, so this is our nth term expression. Okay, this is our nth term expression. We can check if it's correct. Let's use term number 3 to see if we are going to get 40. Okay, so we're going to have 2, 3, Q, minus 3, 3, squared, plus 5 times 3, minus 2. We check if we're going to get 40. So term number 3 indeed is 40. So it means that our nth term formula is correct. Okay, now let's get to number two. Number two, we have two nine twenty eight sixty five one twenty six. Okay, so we're going to find the difference between our terms. Okay, so here we have seven nineteen thirty seven sixty one. The difference here we have twelve. 18 and 24, right? The last difference is 6, okay? We're going to find our expression for this sequence. We know that Tn equals to An to the power 3 plus Vn squared plus Cn plus T, okay? We are going to find a the first term that we find is a okay so we're going to have 6a equals to 6 you divide by 6 both sides and our a equals to 1 to find b we know that we say 12a plus 2b equals to this term which is 12 right and a is 1, we have 2B, we take this data side, 2B equals to 0, which means that our B is 0, okay? And to find C, we are going to say 7A plus 3B plus C equals to 7. Here we have 1 and B is 0, C, we are looking for C. And if you call it like terms, your C is going to be 0. And to find D, we're going to say A plus B plus C plus D equals to the first term, which is 2. Our A is 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus D equals to 2, which means that we're going to say 2 minus 1 and our D is 1. All right. We substitute. So our nth term expression for this sequence a is 1, so we have n to the power 3 plus 0 n squared plus 0, 0 n plus 1, which means that the final answer is going to be n to the power 3 plus 1, okay? So, for this kind of cubic sequence, you can use trial and error, okay? You can even use trial and error to find the final answer okay we know that when we know that when we are just dealing with cubic numbers you know that cubic numbers we have 1 8 27 right we have 1 8 27 but you can see that here we have 2 9 28 right so we can just say we have n to the power 3 which is the cubic sequence that you know that is going to give you 1 8 and 27 right but you can see that they have added 1 to that sequence and we ended up getting 2 9 28 and which means that our final answer is this even without doing all these steps you can get the nth term expression
Okay, now let's get to number three. Okay, number three we have 216, 54, 128, and 250. We are going to find if it's a cubic sequence, mm -hmm. right? And then we're going to use the trial and error method. After we use the trial method, after we use the trial and error method, we're going to use the ordinary method. Okay, so here we have 14 and 54 minus 16 we have 38 128 minus 54 we have 74 250 minus 128 we have 122 122 minus 74 is 48 74 minus 38 is 36 38 minus 14 is 24 right 36 minus 24 is 12 even here we have 12 okay the third difference is the same so it means that this is a cubic sequence right so we are used to having one one 827 as our cubic numbers. This are cubic numbers. Okay, so we're going to look at this ones and compare them to this. Okay, so we can see that this is twice this. This is twice this. This is twice this. Okay, so our answer is just going to be 2n to the power 3. We are done if we are using the trial and error method, right? We just do this and then you are done. How about we use the long method? We know that we have Tn equals to An to the power 3 plus Bn squared plus Cn plus D. Okay? We're going to find A. A, you say 6A equals 12. You divide by 6 both sides and our A is two right b 12 a plus 2 b equals to 24 so 12 times 2 plus 2 b equals to 24 this is 24 plus 2 b equals to 24 you subtract 24 from this side and then you divide by 2 where b is equals to 0 to find C, we know that we have 7A plus 3B plus C equals to 14. 7, our A is 2, our B is 0. We are looking for C. This is 14 plus C equals to 14. You subtract 14 and our C is 0. D a plus B plus C plus D equals to 2, the first term. Our A is 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus D equals to 2. We take to the other side, our D is 0. And you substitute A is 2. So we have 2N to the power 3. B is 0, C is 0, and D is 0. So we are done. So this is the final answer for number three okay thank you for watching today's episode and i hope you have enjoyed it don't forget to like share and subscribe and download the worksheet so that you can practice bye bye take care